What's up everyone, this is Kantanaka Wish for Fish and I am in Brazil on the Jingu River with Untamed Angling and in this video I'm going to be chasing Payara, otherwise known as the Vampire Fish. So, I'll see you on the water. What's up everyone? Finally made it to Manaus. It was a 24 hour ride here. I must say it's a long day so I'm beat. Off to the hotel and then stay in the night and it's off to the jungle. One fantastic thing about going to an untamed destination is their service. It starts immediately from the airport and they pick you up and take you to the hotel and they really give you the VIP treatment and you feel comfortable and safe. So I finally made it to the Juma Opera Hotel. Let's check out the room. I highly approve. Let's check out the restroom. Yes, nice. I'll take a, let me get the chicken. All right, I wanted to get just a little something to eat to tie me over, decided to get a little cart. All right, we're at the airport. We're taking a small plane to Jingu. I'll see you in the jungle. Okay, so we just got the Jingu Lodge and this is the fourth week it's in operation. It's brand new and boy does it look sexy. Check out this detail right here. Ooh, you know I'm gonna get one of these bracelets. So we're in the main common area and ooh, man, super nice. All right, now let's check out where I'll be staying for the week. We have all the cabins right here. I must say the view is pretty nice. Dig it. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, whoa! Closet. Bathroom. Nice. Gotta love the bidet. Oh, heck yeah. I'm pretty anal about my anal. You are not, All right, done with the first day. Tomorrow's the first day of fishing, so it's time to relax. Hopefully get a good night's sleep and be ready for the morning. First day on the water, we gotta go downstream about 15 minutes and then it's fishing time. You're fishing super deep for these Payara and when I was stripping it in, I thought I was stuck on something, but when my rod tip went down, it was a little too late to set the hook oh. and lesson learned. Oh, fish, yeah, fish. fish. Oh, no, no. No! See that? Yeah. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but those are howler monkeys and they are loud as hell. I don't know if the mic could pick that up, but that's just crazy. Really? One time what was amazing was that we had... 
doesn't like the cook okay. Yes. Oh, it's a big one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what this pirate just did to my fly. What a freaking mess. Second pirate of the day, baby. Woo! The teeth go inside of the skull. See that? Amazing. Look at that, it's like a shark. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> This fishery is so new, we're still developing techniques, and we were used to doing a slow strip, but when I was trying to bring it in, when we saw rising Pyara, this happened. Oh, oh yeah. Did you see how fast I was retrieving it? Hey, so they do take it fast. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah. It's fast. It's a fast strip, man. I got it again. Oh, this is much bigger. At least it feels like it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, what a monster. Oh no. Coming in. Yes. Hey, uh, I, I would speed it up, man. That's three hits, I got speeds faster. Once again, a mangled mess. So if you're gonna be fishing for these kind of species, especially with hair like this, I highly recommend a brush. This is from uh, Montana Fly Company. Uh, you could use a comb or anything like that, but highly recommended because you gotta do something about that. <gasps> I don't know, my line just went. You see it? Yeah, you didn't see the line? Yeah. It, oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay, come in. Here. Yes. So one thing that we've noticed is the pyre are very sensitive to taking it out of the water for long periods of time. If you notice. Uh, we put it on the boga, we always kept it in the water. We keep it in the water only to take it out for a couple seconds for the photo, and he's still ready to go. And as you can see, he kicks off and swims away. So we just got done with the morning session. We fish about four to five hours in the morning. We go in for a siesta and lunch. Uh, it's way too hot in the middle of the day, so then we just go back out later on from about 4.30 to dark. So we're going in for some lunch and getting ready for the second session. Oh yeah. Picanha. Mm. Mm. Bullet ant right there. These kids over here are playing with bullet ants. It's unbelievable, man. And the funny thing is I just asked him to ask them if they're scared and they're like, no. What? <laughs> Tabo? What about it? You, you want to paint the here? Um, 
Ooh, yeah. Okay, it's good. <laughs> really good for tattoo. A little or more? We did. So this is fruit and carbon, right? The fruit, the name is Jenipapo. Jenipapo. Uh -huh. And carbon. And, and carbon. a little water. Whoa! I look like a cat. What's up everyone? I had the honor of being painted uh, with the face paint of the Kayapo. Uh, this is a true honor and they do this for the traditional uh, way and this is macaw feathers and I am ready to catch some fish now. Now I got a whole new power going on right now. Oh my god. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a big yeah! Of course, I was so excited, I forgot to push record on my video camera. Okay, we just got done with lunch. It's super hot right now. The payar usually turn on a little bit more in the evening. So we decided to go for some smaller species like matricia and peacock bass. So hopefully we'll get into it. Here, here, come here peacock, right here. Here, right here. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Double. Woo, peacocks, baby. Baikuda, baby. Mm. That's a really nice smoky flavor to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got him. Oh no. 
Where are you? Where are you? Chompers, man. That'll mess you up for sure. Ooh! Whoa. Got him! <laughs> Woo! He said that Eliana is a, is a good, mm. very good chef. Mm. You, you mean it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean him in Maria? Mm. Being that this is such a new fishery, we tried a lot of different techniques, especially stripping techniques, and they all fairly worked out well. So don't always stick to the book and think outside the box, and don't be afraid to try things out. Kidding me? Well, that first one was a. Uh, the first one was fast. Second one was a uh, steady. Yeah. But that one. That one was. got the teeth on this thing. I don't want to stick my hand in there, but it's got human teeth. Woo! Okay, let's go. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes! <sighs> yes! Okay, let's go. Untamed Angling's newest destination did not disappoint. And fishing for Payara with the Kayapo was truly an amazing experience. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. I had an incredible time in Brazil at Jingu Lodge, especially with the Kayapo. I loved how they shared their culture with us and they even did one of their ceremonies for us on the last night. And we were even able to purchase some of their handmade items. For instance, I bought this bracelet and some others as well. And this fish bonker and this traditional belt was actually given to me by one of the Kayapo and this necklace was also given to me by one of them and it was just amazing to see them so happy in such a primitive lifestyle and living off the jungle and you know sharing some of their culture and even exchanging gifts with us and it was an amazing experience. And that's the unique thing about going to an untamed angling destination is that you get to live alongside these natives. And I said the same thing about Bolivia and living with the Chimane, and that experience alone was worth it. But on top of that, here you get to catch these giant fanged fish and it makes for a once in a lifetime fishing experience. Another thing I can't express more is how good the food is. And as you guys know, I love food and what's better than being in the middle of the jungle and having a first class dining experience is just top notch. If you're wanting to go to the jungle, you better be prepared. If it's not sunblock or bug spray and still be prepared to be bitten by bugs, uh, you better also have the right gear. And I was using a nine foot, nine weight uh, native rod company along with the new Able Rove. That review will be coming soon with an SA full sink line at 500 grains to really get my flies deep. Now for the smaller stuff, I was using my nine foot eight weight native rod company along with the Able SDS reel with the Airflow Gulf Redfish line. Now if you're in the middle of a jungle chasing jungle beasts, you better have backups. And I did use my Thomas and Thomas Sextant uh, as well when I was there and I really enjoyed that rod as well for the nine weight. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website and store at wishforfish.com. And if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. If you're interested in going to an untamed angling destination, their information will be in the description box below. And I'll see you on the water.